Good morning, Cypress Bible Church. I want to take a few moments this morning to focus on uh, some words from the book of Acts about uh, prayer and fasting. As I announced on Sunday, we're going to uh, uh, invite the, the church family to participate in 30 days of prayer, and uh, that uh, focus uh, will take place starting October 4th. And I'll give you more details about that in the days to come. But was uh, thinking this morning about Acts chapter 13, where it says in verses 2 and 3, While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I've called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. Uh, we, we just have this uh, early church example of fasting, and it occurred while they were worshiping. Now, that word worship is not a common one translated worship in the New Testament. Uh, letter get O is only used a handful of times at most, and uh, three of those times specifically uh, translated worship. Uh, and, and that's because it, it comes from a word that really meant serving uh, at your own expense. Um, and uh, it was a somebody who took a public office and out of their own pocket, uh, paid their way to serve. And then it became used uh, to describe priestly work um, and uh, doing service for the Lord, practical things as an act of worship to the Lord. And uh, this, this offering of spiritual sacrifices of praise and prayer and scripture study as uh, one who honored the Lord. And really, um, that kind of ministry and worship uh, needs to go hand in hand with one another. They, they should never be separated. If we try to work for the Lord without worshiping the Lord, then uh, we're going to uh, end up with something that's self-centered and joyless. If we worship and never work for the Lord, we'll be superficially spiritual and powerless. Uh, so between those extremes of being joyless or powerless, neither one is a good thing. But uh, while the church the leadership of the church was worshiping, that is uh, ministering to the Lord. They found the Lord's direction. The Holy Spirit spoke to them as they were worshiping and fasting. And uh, that idea of fasting, um, it's, uh, it's a mark of deep spiritual concern. It's uh, something going without as an indication of how serious you are to hear from the Lord. It sets aside some of the normal demands and uh, um, practices of daily life in order to concentrate on what God wants. And uh, fasting, by the way, is not commanded in Scripture. Uh, in, in fact, Jesus assumed it would happen. It did happen uh, in his uh, uh, background, his religious uh, tradition of Judaism. And what Jesus did in talking about it was to warn against doing it wrongly and uh, fasting to show off or fasting to to impress people. And Jesus warned against that. But then in the early church, we see that uh, fasting practiced uh, hand in hand with prayer. Uh, as you just declare your seriousness to hear from the Lord. And, and, um, and that's what occurs here in Acts chapter 13. Uh, they're giving focused attention to the Lord through worship and fasting and prayer and wanting to receive guidance from him. And then uh, once they receive that, they hear from the Lord, then they fast and pray again and commission these, these missionaries. And uh, it, it, there's a unifying aspect where through fasting and prayer, they're identifying themselves with these missionaries and sending them off as one body in Christ. Well, I'm looking forward to a time from October 4th through November 2nd where we as a church family take time to listen to God, to seek his guidance, and to uh, lean on him for uh, what we need in the days ahead. Um, in order to do that, we'll focus on a different theme each week. Um, it will be tied to our uh, sermons on Sunday from 1 Corinthians. Each Monday morning, we'll send out a video devotional focused on a theme around that. And uh, Monday will be the day that we'll invite you to fast for one meal or for the day. 
And then uh, each of the rest of the days of the week, Tuesday through Saturday, we'll send out uh, some kind of communication via email or social media uh, that will invite you to pray for 10 minutes on a scripture theme. We'll give you a passage of scripture, a verse or, or a paragraph of scripture to focus on and to pray for uh, 10 minutes or so uh, each of the, the rest of the days of the week. Uh, that's our intent. We want to seek the Lord. We, we call this the 30 days of fasting and prayer. And uh, we want to glorify the Lord and advance his kingdom. We want to uh, desire before the Lord that none would be lost and all would come to repentance, as uh, he says in 2 Peter 3, 9. And, and uh, we want to seek his direction and obey him and just keep on asking him uh, and pleading with God to uh, uh, guide us and lead us and empower us to be his people in this place. I trust that that's your prayer even this morning, and uh, may God bless you as you serve him and worship him today.